Alright, what's up YouTube? This is video 3 of my uh, Mighty Mouse project right here. This is moving a lot faster than I had planned. Um, well, as you guys can see, I got my hands on an engine, and I'm very happy with this engine. Right now I've got the, the air filter off of it at the moment. But, um, I really see how easily I can put a restrictor plate on this thing. And I can really bring it down to a science where I can get something like uh, something like a half a plate covering this, or three quarters, or whatever. Something like that to restrict airflow in a manner that would require some mechanical assembly. So the state of California, I could say, hey, look, I'm you know limiting the power on this thing when I'm on your streets and so forth down to whatever it is. I think it was two brake horsepower or something like that. But at the same time, I should keep this bottom end torque. At least that's what I'm shooting for here. Now, as you can see, I've got a fairly big engine. And I couldn't be happier because this is a Tecumseh brand. And this power sport is apparently especially made for go-karts and mini bikes and so forth. So uh, rock on for that. Couldn't be happier about the engine. My only complaint about it is I need a torque converter and the, R, the crankshaft is just a little bit on the rusty side, but there's fresh metal right underneath the surface of that thing, so I'm not too concerned. She runs, she's a little bit smoky, but I'm gonna crack, I'm gonna chalk that up to just simply not being um, used. So probably the first thing I'm gonna do with this guy is clean it up and uh, put some fresh oil in it, ready to go. And included in this purchase was actually a go-kart frame. Now, the last thing I need is another project, but this guy uh, who I bought it from happened to have a go-kart frame all welded up, ready to go, and uh, it had motor mounts, as in underneath. It had a, a steel frame that was already set up. Now, that right there is going to save me, you know, five, six hours of cutting and welding and fabricating, so that was well worth it. So considering I bought the engine and that frame of the go-kart and some other, uh, he, he tossed in some wheels or something like this. He told me he was just cleaning out the garage. But considering I got all that for 80 bucks, I was very happy. So uh, a few kids at home are playing with your calculators. Uh, we're looking at 165, no, excuse me, what are we at here, 80 bucks? Yeah, 155 bucks at the moment here into this package. So I could not be happier with that. Uh, <laughs> my math is a little shaky because it's about 3 a.m. here, and this is about the only time I've had some free time to pick up where I left off with this project. But anyway, could not be happier about that. Now, the more I look at this engine, the more I think about how I could put that restrictor plate on there and so forth. Uh, down the line, I'd love to see if I could do something. Instead of a pull cord, I'd love to see if I could do a kickstart, a true kickstart. Um, that obviously is not something that's gonna, that I'm going to be doing right off the bat.